Hi everybody, this tutorial will show the use of spider control HTML5 web HMIs um, together with backoff PLCs that run a backnet stack. So there are several backoff PLCs which have a backnet stack integrated, which is programmable with Twincat. And spider control uh, supports uh, these back backoff backnet uh, systems and there is an extensive library um, for backnet objects which can be easily configured. In this tutorial I will show the first steps to set up such a project to install the components and to do uh, the first program programming in order to uh, connect to backnet. So the result might look something like that. So we saw a backnet alarm list. We have here um, a backnet trend object which is able to load and display uh, backnet uh, trend curves. We have things like um, schedulers and exception schedulers uh, and so on. So, um, to communicate with the backoff PLC we use this SIR host uh, software um, on the PLC we need to install um, the spider control web server components so all which is delivered uh, from our website should be stored to this uh, hard disk www directory you can get these components from our website so go to download and support then select user download and go to the backoff um, tab you will um, be prompted to create a login the login is free um, as soon as you receive uh, your credentials you will be able to download all necessary components for backnet you will require one of these uh, web servers either um, for the ARM architecture, which is CX9000 uh, series, or for the X86 series, this will um, be this package. When you download um, this components, We'll open them right then, right? Okay, so this zip file they cont uh, contain exa exactly those files. We have uh, the, the starter application, the DLL, and the script. After you copy that to uh, the designated directory, you should start this, this uh, disable IES script once. This will remove uh, the IIS web server from port 80 um, making uh, the port free for our web server to run. Uh, when you start this micro browser CE application this will launch uh, the web server. The, this uh, executable will be launched automatically after each reboot you do not have to configure anything. This is a service provided by Beckhoff. After uh, this launcher has started. It will generate a challenge code. This code up here uh, can be sent to us and we will send you this uh, response code which will license the server and enable uh, you to run the software. So, next steps. We go to the software. Um, you would like to create a new project supporting um, BACnet. If we start uh, the wizard, um, we choose uh, the template for ba back of BACnet and PLC uh, control. So this will allow us to access variables from both the BACnet stack as well as from the Twincat IEC 6.11.31 software. We give it a name. We will choose a location to store, define the resolution, have a 
refresh period, we can choose um, a style, generate a couple of pages, use forum background, use multi-language project, and this will generate the basic project. Next step is we will have to uh, set the drivers. Now here we have to integrate uh, the TPY files which is generated by BACnet. To export them you will have to go to the Beckhoff Twincat system manager. Uh, open this uh, input output configuration. Uh, go to this uh, device one BACnet thing choose the second tab and then export the respective TPY files. You have to choose um, this ADS info type, then um, select the base name. So we select the, the base name and the tool will then generate based on this name these three files, so one TPY file for uh, IEC 6.11.31 and one TPI for the BACnet stack and one for the BACnet notification thing. So it's three TPI files in total. This will export the variable files and we now have to um, add three drivers to uh, access all of these uh, variable sources. So the first driver we will uh, configure is a standard ADS driver for the, the Twincat software. We will add a variable list file and select this one. We configure the second driver. The second driver will be the BACnet stack connection. Choose BACnet ADS. Import the file with the index number one. And the second is for the notification thing. We choose again the same driver type, BACnet ADS. But this time we select the second of the two of these files. So now we are set to start and configure user interfaces. We go to the first page and add an object from the library. So uh, the back of PLC HMI editor by Spider Control has this subdirectory for uh, all kinds of BACnet macro functions for uh, BACnet alarming, calendar, priority, schedule, state, text, trend, etc. We will do an alarm macro just as seen before. This will import. this macro. So what's really nice about this technology is that you can select um, a variable to connect to this object and the, our editor now filters only for the suitable alarm objects. It will show all existing BACnet alarm objects with, to which you can connect to. In this project we have only one and the alarm list is now already set. So this is all you have to do to, to visualize BACnet alarms. It's uh, the same thing for other kind of objects. In our sample we have far more connected to a trend object. We will insert the trend. Place it. And in the trend object we can add several trend curves. So we also choose with the respective filter, which shows only BACnet trend objects to select. 
and we can choose one, select min, max, and add the curve. It will be the same thing for um, objects, for example, for uh, um, exception schedule. which can be configured accordingly. Okay, so once um, we have made our first steps, we can go to the download. This will start the build process first. Now an HTML5 project is generated, the FTP client is opened, we have to enter the address of the PLC. Connect to the PLC and download the project. The next step will be to download also uh, the configuration. And then we're ready 